everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Diamond for the Nintendo DS Part 38. Today, we're going to finish up Victory Road and hopefully start our battles with Neo in addition to the Elite Four. So here we go. And I did some super serious level grinding off camera. All my pokes are 65 and beyond. Woot. So yeah, oh, and I forgot to show off the uh, Boodoo evolution and everything. I figured I'd show you guys real quick, just to get it in there. Uh, let's see, one. Yes, we're gonna go back to how Boodoo evolved before we continue the actual story. Go, my Boodoo! Level 35. Evolve before my fans' very eyes. Yeah, I wanted to show this. And boy, Boodoo was a little pain in the ass. Yes, Boodoo has evolved into Rosalia. Now that you've seen that, let's load to State 2. And I'll show you how Roserade happened. Yay! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run. And then we'll just evolve Rosalia just for the hell of it here. Just to show that I can. Shiny Stone, wee! There, now you guys got to see uh, Boodoo evolve twice. Hope you liked it. You didn't really miss much, I was just doing a lot of level grinding and then decided, hey, I'll evolve him now. And there you go. Roselia to Roserade with the Shiny Stone. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Wee! <laughs> Yeah, you'll get to see what Roserade's capable of soon enough. I'll let him have some battles soon. Yes, let's rock climb all the way down. Uh, let's see. Is Roserade in the front of the party? Yes, he is. Okay. Or yes, she is. He is. I didn't take a look at the gender symbol. Oh, God. It's a karate dude. My Pokemon knows karate. I'm warning you. It's a tough one. Don't even ask where I got that voice. <laughs> Black Belt Miles. Yeah, well, you're not gonna get any mileage on beating me. Oh my god, it's a Machamp! Unless it has Fire Punch, it's not really gonna be doing much to me. Uh, let's use Sludge Bomb, that'll hit the hardest. And Roserade resists Fighting-type moves anyway due to its poison nature. Scary face. I'm several levels higher than you. You don't have a chance. And now you eat Shadow Ball. Yep, Roserade packs Shadow Ball for all the uh, ghosties that try to evade it or whatever, or try to resist it. And Roserade can also learn to move Extra Sensory, a Psychic-type move, 80 base power, but you have to learn through breeding. I've met my match in strength. And to breed, you have to use the Rose Incense. I think that helps aid you in getting extra sensory also, I believe. And Repel's effect wore off, so we're gonna throw another one on. Yes, let's do that. Okay, what's down here? It's water! I'm a water lover. Go on my Aqua Piggy! Let's swim up here. Oh, dead end. Never mind. I guess we're gonna go this way, and I think this guy's gonna be a Psychic user, so... To prepare, let's get Honchkrow ready for action. Go, my Murder Crow! I can see the past! And I'm gonna knock you into the future! So that you will have no present! Psychic Valencia! And her ching a ling -a ding dong Okay, time to use Night Slash. Wax on, wax off. And down it goes. And he sounds like a wind chime, as he should. And next up we got Chimiko, the evolved form of, of Ching Ling. Chimiko's not gonna fare much better. 
Yeah, you can ring your little bell all you want. It's not gonna save you. From my dark wings of deception. And watch that health drop. Kind of like a pussy. Love this beat. And it ended. There's just so much in your past. Yes, and now you will leave yourself out of it. Now where do I go? Oh, uh, let's see. Down, up. So many ways we can go. Let's go up first. Yes, go waterfall. And we're going to swim right around the bend here. I'm wondering if Earthquake is over here. Or something else. It looks like we got a Pokemans battle over there awaiting us. Oh, we got Dragon Pulse. That could be pretty good. If I want to ditch Roar of Time and use a more accurate move like Dragon Pulse, but... Roar of Time's accuracy ain't that bad, so... Dragon Pulse, I might just not use. Up we go, Gastrodon. No, I'll let Dialga shine for a bit now. Switch. Yeah, my full party. This is awesome. Alright, what do you have? Ah, making an already strong Pokemon grow even stronger. I'll need your help with this. Do I look like fertilizer to you? Oh, you're a Dragon Tamer. Andrish? 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 I don't know. Gabite. Oh my. I think that's the first time I've run into that thing. Yeah, I think a Flash Cannon will waste it. So, Flash Cannon away. Oh yes, I apparently learned Earth Power off camera with Dialga. Earth Power's a 95 or 90 base power special ground special. It could come in handy later against other Steel types. There's no way I could have won. Yes. You finally realize the hopelessness of your situation. Yes, we're gonna surf this way. This takes me backwards, doesn't it? Yes, it takes me... Wait, no. Uh, I think this is different. Let's go up here. Or did I... Or, oh, it's the old man. I can sense that your Pokémon have a lot of trust in you. You and your Pokémon, you seem to be a glow. Uh, thanks, I guess? I don't know what to say, really. Alright, veteran Edgar and his tentacruel. It is a tentacruel world. Alright, now I get to give Earth Power a shot. Let's demonstrate Earth Power. It'll hit his poison side very hard. Down goes tentacruel. Hopefully. Yay! Uh, the crit was probably necessary. Tentacruel's special defense is pretty wicked. Alright, next up we got Golem. And we're gonna keep battling with Dialga. Alright, Dialga, time to use Flash Cannon. Steel's gonna rip right through rock. Boom. Goodbye, Golem. Suck on some silver. Alright, who's coming out to play next? Alright, you got Empoleon! Ooh. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Infernape! Since I got close combat, I don't really fear this thing. Alrighty, Roo. Close combat, die! Down goes Empoleon. Like a sack of steel potatoes. Yeah, my defense fell, but I don't care. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back down the stairs. I want to investigate that other path I didn't check out. This earthquake could be over there. I don't want to miss it. Ah, I understand it now. Alright, what's down here? Hmm. 
there's an item over there. I'm wondering if that might be EQ. I don't know. But I want to go back here just in case I might have missed anything important. I think that I think that upward staircase actually leads towards the uh, Elite Four, I think. Don't quite remember. Yeah, both of these next, uh, this part and the next will probably end up being over 30 minutes because I want to try to get a lot done. This is probably going to be the last two parts also. So yeah, we're, we're literally in the end game right now. There's not much more standing in our way. Okay, we got this trainer guy over here to fight, so let's deal with him. Aha! Victory Road. Somehow it feels as if my journey is now coming to an end. But before the final chapter is written, I must pen your defeat. Yeah, I don't think it'll be in ink, buddy. Because I will erase you! Oh, you got a hunch crow too. Thief! Mine's better. Alright, Dialga. Let's use... Hmm, Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon is the answer to everything. Especially with the Stab It Adamant or Boost. Nothing's gonna stand up to it well. Goodbye. Hashiro barked its last... Uh... Bark. Ace Trainer Henry, down. That wasn't how I planned the final chapter to go in my writing class. What did you write? A Pokemon fanfiction? I don't know. Uh, yes, I did. I have Dialga. You saw it already, didn't you? I have a legendary. Okay, we haven't checked out down here yet. So, what do we got? Looks like we got a potential double battle ahead of us here. Let's see. Let's do Roserade on a team with, oh... Yeah, let's do Roserade with Gastrodon. That sounds like fun. It's a double team of aces! We're gonna overwhelm you! We form a combination that's in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? By beating you, that's how. I counter you, you can counter me, but I'll counter you by just winning. Gyarados, Venicham! Hmm, maybe a Giraffe Ring with Thunder would have been better here. Oh well, well. I didn't foresee a Gyarados coming into the picture. Well, luckily for us, Gar well, Gyarados' water attacks aren't going to do much to either of my Pokémon. Let's see, um... We got Petal Dance on Gyarados I could do. Or like a Sludge Bomb something. Yeah, let's use Petal Dance on the, uh... Wait a minute. Has Petal Dance hit both... Wait a minute, what's Petal Dance... Eh. You know what, let's go with Sludge Bomb. Let's hit Gyarados with that, and then we'll do, uh... Hmm... Let's do Waterfall on... Metacham? Wait, Waterfall hits everybody. Or is that... I don't even know. No, I'll just go with Dig. I don't... I'm getting confused by the whole bottom menu flashing. I don't know what's going on. Aha! Poison Gyarados with Sludge Bomb. It worked out beautifully. And now I Dig. So I'm gonna try and dodge Metacham. High pause beam, it missed. High jump kick, it missed! <laughs> and Metacham's gonna cripple itself, good. Wow, lost over half its health missing that, that's pretty bad. Okay, Dig's gonna finish off Metacham, now I'm just gonna try and hammer, I'm gonna just Shadow Ball Gyarados and get rid of him. Yeah, missing high jump kick, yeah, you don't wanna ever miss that. You saw how much damage it did to Metacham, over half. It was probably safer using Brick Break. Something a little better, weaker. At least it had more accuracy. And Gastrodon will easily finish it off with Dig from there. Alright, I won this battle. Thanks to careless mistakes from my opponents. You and your Pokémon will gain power by helping each other out. You and your Pokémon make a beautiful combination. Yes! Ooh, 11,000 bucks. Nice. 
Now, where will this water take me? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Anything fun over here? Ooh, we got a staircase. And? We found a rare candy. Eh. I was kind of hoping EQ would have been there. No slush luck. I'm pretty sure Earthquake is in here somewhere. It's gotta be. If it's not there, it's gotta be probably close to the end. Alright, back in the water, Gastro Donny. Let's run over here. Yeah, I fought that schmuck already. Back up the waterfall. Gotta explore Victory Road thoroughly. Don't want to miss a thing. Let's rise to the occasion. And now we go over here. I'm still contemplating on whether I want to teach Dragon Pulse to anything. Okay, we're gonna check out the... Let's go left first, see what we got over here. And we got a Razor Claw. What does that do exactly? Doesn't that boost the critical hit ratio, I think? I don't know. Aha! I know exactly who I'm gonna give this to. <laughs> Hello, Hunchcrow! Now Hunchcrow's gonna get even more broken with critical hits. He's gonna have super luck... Plus the Razor Claw boost, plus the Nice Slash Natural Critical Hit Ratio boost. So yeah, Nice Slash just got pretty damn wicked, and I forgot to throw a Max Ball on, damn it. So over 50% of the time, I'm probably going to be critting stuff with uh, Hunch Crow, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Super Luck, Razor Claw, Nice Slash, Critical Hit Ratio boost. Going to be fun. Let's see. Max Repel again. I was kind of hoping for Earthquake there, but, you know, Razor Claw, not too disappointed. Hunch Crow can make great use of that. Okay, this guy fight me at all or no? Let me size you up. You're going to become even tougher. You'll meet many, many Pokemon. That's why you should be thinking. That's what you should be thinking. Eventually, the world will grow bigger to you. And we got a Zink. Again, hoping that was Earthquake, but was disappointed again. Arg. Oh, let me see. Alright, we already went that way. I think we gotta go down now. Okay, that's gonna lead us towards the Elite Four. I wanna go this way first. So, let's go up here. This might take us towards Earthquake. Yeah, we're almost done with Victory Road. Not much more. Oh, this has to be Earthquake. So I, I really want to teach Gastrodon a stronger ground move. So now that Dialga has Earth Power, yeah. Oh, I'm not even going to bother teaching it Earthquake. Dark Pulse, really? I thought that was going to be EQ. Ugh. I probably missed it somewhere. It's not in Victory Road, I don't know where the hell it could be, then. Oh, how disappointing. Oh well, I don't need Earthquake to beat the game, I'll be fine. Dig is strong enough. Okay, let's get Hunchcrow out. I want to demonstrate the uh, brokenness of him now. Alright, who's this trainer gonna have? Top level trainers gather around this place naturally. I'd go so far as to call it the ideal place to train with the best. Uh, you aren't the best, buddy. Hate to break that news to you. Dragon Tamer Clinton. Are you Bill Clinton? Yeah, okay. But... Gibble? Evolve the damn thing! Yeah, nice slash it. Go. It's not even worth my time. Kill. How much you want to bet this will be a critical hit? Okay, maybe not. I should be getting crits over 50% of the time now. The crits gotta be way more common now.
Should be very rare when I don't get a crit. Keep nice slashing. Eventually I'll get that crit. See, crit! <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of those, hopefully. Alright, Gyarados. Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch to, uh, Giraffe on my rig. Still got that thunder. Alright, long neck. Destroy this watery serpent. And now we're gonna save, in case I miss thunder. Save to slot 6, Thunder Han. Yay! Easily gonna one-shot. I'm level 65, I'm better! Oh, there's something seriously screwed up. Goodbye, Garamados. And Dragon Tamer Clinton is defeated. That's why I like it here. I get to battle tough characters like you. Aw, oh, thanks. But I knew I was tough to begin with. Okay, I think Neo's gonna be coming up here, so I better get ready. I'm gonna have Dialga start up. Start things off. I'm in the 65 region. I'm fine. I'm not gonna save state here. Repels effect wore off them. Okay, is Neo gonna come out and fight me or what? No, I guess not. Hmm. I thought Neo was gonna challenge me again, but I guess that's not the case. Alright, Gastrodon Surf. Pokemon League, here we come. Oh, that was sort of disappointing. I was expecting to fight Neo again. Let me see, is Earthquake hiding over here, maybe? Kind of doubting it. But I have to check. Alright, nothing there. Pokemon League! Your Pokemon are so calm even though they're going up against Elite Four. I like how they're so loose and relaxed. Well, they better be. They need to be. Already Rue. I think I'm gonna go back to Canalave, lose some of those HM attacks because I want to put better stuff in their place. Like, I want to lose in, uh, Rock Climb on Infernape now. I won't need that anymore. Yeah, we're gonna stock up on some full restores and stuff. No, I don't want balls. I'm not getting any more Pokemon. I'm gonna get some repels. Oh, not repels. I'm full restores. Let's get like 10 of those. That should be good. Yeah, we'll get a couple revives. We'll get like 10 revives, I guess. I'm probably not even gonna need half of these. It's just, you know, insurance policy. And I think, other than that, I should be fine. Shouldn't really need anything else. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Candlelave real quick. Let me just make sure I can actually come back here first. Let's get Honchkrow ready to take flight. Let me make sure I can fly back here. Just because I don't want to have to go through all Victory Road again. Okay, good, I can fly right back here. Perfect. Alright, let's go to Candlelave now. Go back to the Move Deleter. Get rid of some of these garbage moves, replace them with better ones. Alrighty. Move the leader should be right over here. I think. Yep, there he is. Alright, Mr. Move the leader, you gotta help me out. Infernape is going to drop rock climb, so let's lose that. Goodbye, Rock Climb. Okay, now I can teach Sunny Day and Solar Beam to Infernape. But first, let's, uh, yeah, I want, I want Gastrodon to lose, um, Waterfall. Don't want that anymore. So, Waterfall can go bye bye, don't need two water moves. I'll figure out another move for Gastrodon. Uh, let's see. Any, anyone else I want to forget something? Uh, strength is gonna go Popeye now. So let's lose that. Giraffe Ring is gonna drop that now. 
I'm gonna get rid of uh, Rock Smash too. That's a crappy move. Yeah, Rock Smash going, and we're gonna lose strength as well. And now we're gonna drop. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Goodbye, strength. We. And that will do it. Okay, now it's time to teach our pokes new moves. Better moves. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Dark Pulse, we got Avalanche, Rock Polish, Payback, Silver Wind. I don't think anything I learned Silver Wind. Drain Punch, Dragon Pulse. Gastrodon with Dragon Pulse would be interesting, but I don't know if I can make good use of it. Yeah, Rock Tomb's probably not going to do much from it. Eh, first let's teach Infernape Solar Beam. Get that out of the way. Yay, Infernape learned Solar Beam. Oot. And we're gonna learn Sunny Day, too. That'll be Infernape's final move pool. Wants to learn to move Sunny Day. Alright, goodbye, Grass Nut. You served me well for this long, but now I don't need you anymore. And hello, sunny day. All right. Now we get the Hypoz Beam. Really wish Giraffe could learn it. Very disappointing that he can't. Look at that! The one thing that's normal type can't learn it, everything else can. What the hell is that all about? Oh, come on. Oh, uh, let's see. Actually, well... Giraffe could learn Return. It's gonna be 90, 90 to 90, 95 base power normal physical. I guess it's gonna be the best move I can learn, stab-wise. Unless I find a Giga Impact somewhere, which I doubt. Achoo! Oh, man, sorry about that. Let me see if Giraffe Rick learn Dragon Pulse. Kinda doubt it, but... No, only Dialga can learn it. Okay. So Dragon Pulse ain't really gonna do much for me. Iron Tail. Eh. Not really big on that move. Oh, we got Aerial Ace, but eh, don't really care much for that either. Brine, bleh. Can anything learn Charge Beam? I don't know. Uh, Giraffe Rig learned Charge Beam, but we got Thunder already, so it's kind of a moot point, really. Rock Polish, Avalanche. Did Giraffe Rig learn Avalanche? Uh, I'm kind of doubting that. Hmm. No. Well, let's give it Trick Room. Cause that could help Gastrodon be faster than everything. Yeah, we'll teach Giraffe Ring Trick Room, I guess. I don't know if- uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be using it or not. Substitute? Hmm, interesting. What could learn Substitute? Well, everything can. But who do I want to give it to the most? I think Gastrodon could probably use it, but, uh, If I can set up on something that it can resist. I don't think it's fast enough to really use Substitute well. Maybe you can learn Rock Polish? No. Yeah, I don't know what this final move is going to be for Gastrodon, honestly. I don't think I can learn Roost, Torment, no. Aerial Ace, probably not. I might just teach a Rock Tomb, even though Rock Tomb's not that good, but... It's the best Rock move I'm going to get right now. So, Gastrodon will learn Rock Tomb, I guess. Alright, I think that's going to end this part, folks. Next part's going to be the finale, so let's fly back to Pokemon League and hopefully wrap this game up. Here we go. Pokemon League, here we come. This is it, folks. We're going to end this game next part. I is ready to roll. Now let's get my moves all in order. All right, Dialga. Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Shadow Claw, Roar of Time. Like that move, good. Surf Dig, Ice Beam, Rock Tomb. All right, good coverage there. Now we got Psychic Thunder, Return, and Trick Room. Trick Room will probably never be used. Now we got Infernape with Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Sunny Day, Solar Beam. 
I'll see, uh, I'm gonna move Nice Slash up a little bit. Sucker Punch is a good backup dark move to have, to get the jump on something. That tries to attack me. And Steel Wing will be good, and then we got Roserade with Pedal Dance, Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Stun Spore. Alright. This is it, folks. We are ready for the big time. So, we're gonna stop here for now. Stay tuned for Let's Play Pokemon Diamond for the Nintendo DS, the final part coming up, ladies and gents, where we're gonna hopefully... I don't know, we might battle Neo before the Elite Four. I still think it could happen. It's just probably before we go through that door. So we'll hopefully fight Neo, the Elite Four, and we'll battle the champion Cynthia, and hopefully become a the Sido champion in addition to the Hoenn, Shoto, and Kento champion. So yeah, should be good stuff. Join, tune in for the finale later, folks, and see you then. Peace out.